Let's begin with a new segment, sure to win your hearts and minds over the next few years. On the radio. Broadcasting from the iconic 299 Queen Street West. Good morning. This is Virgin Mornings. Radiated through space. With Adam Wilde and TJ. Your new morning show. Morning show. Oh, I don't know about you, but I got that Friday feeling. Oh, thank God it's here, finally. Woo! You know, I gotta tell you, I I was at hockey last night, and and everybody looked around, and they all they all kind of looked dead. It was like the zombies walking dead hockey team, and they were all like, "Has this week dragged for you? Because it really dragged for me, and I'm ready for it to be over, man." S- same. same. You know, you know why? Because we actually got snow this week. It was actually cold at one point. True. It was a difficult week, but we made it. It was. And congratulations to all of us. Uh, let's go around the room. TJ, what's on your mind? I'll tell you what's on my mind. I need you to dial this phone number right now. Okay. Uh, hang Do- on. Let me bring up the phones here. All right. Okay. You ready? It might be long distance, but 830. 830. 476. 476. 5664. 5664. Who are we calling? You'll see. Did she slide Somebody in here? Somebody wants to me. The world is <laughs> what is this? Me. It's a Smash a Mouth hotline. <laughs> you can dial this number at any time, anywhere in the world, and it will start playing Smash Mouth All-Star. Let's just, let's just have a listen. On her forehead. Well, the is start coming and they don't stop coming. Set to the rules and I hit the ground running. Oh, it jam, right? Sense not to live for fun. Listen to this hotness. Who wants to watch Shrek after this, huh? Oh, man, me too. I, I, I'm in. Um, I'm just, this just reminds me of grade six. Like so hard. I just want to wait for the chorus here. You ready? Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. This is the most radio airplay Smash Mouth has had in like 20 years. But they get a lot into that play. Producer Jesse, in the me- before we get to this, did you think that that was good radio? I think that was the best radio that's ever happened. <laughs> wow, the of radio kind, award winning. TJ, blindly supportive. <laughs> that's all that is, just blind support. That's actually really cool. So, can we post that number? Absolutely, because I think people need a little smash mouth in their life. Yep, it's up on their Twitter at uh, Virgin Radio Tia. Producer Jesse, what's is on your Shrek mind? Is Shrek the greatest movie franchise of all time? Is that what's on your mind this morning? I think that's what's on my mind that's this a morning. Steaming hot take, and I could see it. Shrek 2 was really good. Yep. I, I seem to remember Shrek 3 not being good. Have you seen the Shrek Christmas special? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that means recently. That means recently. I've, I've watched it a couple years in a row. There you Why? Go. <laughs> I'm very excited to be a dad because I get to watch all this stuff and not be embarrassed by it. Oh, my kid made me watch all these oh. kids movies. You're like, your kid's not born yet. You're like, yeah, but I don't oh. know. It was kicking. It was all kicky boy. I don't know. Well, we're not one of those families. You know, there's like the baby Einstein stuff, and there's people that believe that if you put the headphones on the on your tummy, that somehow your, your child's going to hear Bach and become like a brilliant kid. Uh, we don't. We have high hopes for our child, but maybe not that high. Um, so no, we don't. We don't really do that. But what I do want to say on my mind today is I would like to wish my wife a happy first anniversary. Oh, look at that! We made it to a full year. Wow. Uh, we got married on the 27th last year, so our anniversary is actually Sunday. So we're gonna spe- celebrate a little bit this weekend, which is I think is kind of cool. Oh, look at you in love. That's great. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> No, that's fantastic. You Thank guys you. are an adorable couple. One of my favorite couples, actually, in the world. So I'm well, very, very happy we, for we you We basically, guys. producer Jesse, we've adopted TJ. He's our first son. First born son. <laughs> I'm their <laughs> practice run son, so they could screw up with me a couple times and learn some lessons. <laughs> hey, Pineapple Beach today. We got to call our winner at 7 o'clock. And here's the thing. We have something huge to announce at 8 o'clock. Oh, and it's so much fun. Okay. Actually, you know what? It's two parts. And that's the best part. Okay, so we got... One part and then two parts, and we can't really tease them too much. But all I want to say is it's going to be a really good morning for you. That will be at 8 o'clock. In the meantime, how about a little Justin Bieber? We can play Smash Mouth for you. That's coming up next. We thought Justin would be better, though. Their entire discography right after the Biebs. Virgin Mornings with What's Trending. And this is What's Trending right now. I'm sorry to be this guy. I really, really am being more truthful I'm not that sorry. Scientists are predicting a cold and rainy summer for T.O. this year. Um, here's the thing about all every farmer's almanac thing. If you ask a person that went to school for this, I know scientists, weird. <laughs> Why would we ask them? Anybody that says that they can forecast the weather properly beyond seven days is lying to you. 
Um, and, and I know some weather people, some meteorologists. So don't listen to this. Don't let this get you down. Okay? Okay? Okay, but if you're one of those people in the summer that hates the heat and you're like, I just like fall, I just like winter, I wish it was 30 below. <laughs> oh, we talked about this the other day. This is why you're bringing this up. This is the summer you should be excited for. TJ's very excited to wear his, his long jeans and his dark t-shirts all summer. That's right. Goth TJ is coming out. <laughs> summer 20. I just need to focus on my art. <laughs> and then you do the hair flip. Hair, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Julia Michaels and Selena Gomez uh, released a song. It's called Anxiety. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are both two delightful human beings, and they released a song, and uh, it's delightful and, as well. And a subject that's very, very current that yes. we're thankfully all talking about. Yep, Bell Let's Talk Day is actually next week, yep. so it's uh, actually pretty good timing for that. Here's a fun fact. Just like babies, adults sleep better while being rocked to sleep. Nope. Studies found a gentle rocking motion before and during sleep resulted in a deeper slumber and improved memory skills afterwards, so you can remember exactly who rocked you to sleep. That has completely changed my Tinder bio overnight. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> please, please rock me to sleep. Yeah. I'm a 200-pound guy. How could I ever get rocked to sleep again? Jump in these arms, baby. I'll show you. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. That's what's trending on TJ. Ariana Grande. It's Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde and, of course, TJ. This is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde and TJ. A 99.9 Virgin Radio. Friday morning. Things are a little looser. We're allowed to mail it in, too. No, we're not mailing it in. It's, you, know what, you know what it is? I was so focused on this, which is, has your favorite TV show ever saved someone's life? <laughs> what a niche question. I know, it's, <laughs> it's weird, and I, I don't expect anyone to actually answer that. Although, if you want to, triple nine double nine is always open on the text. But TJ, I believe yours did. There's a guy named Scott. Scott was, and is... A mechanic. And Scott, there's nothing remarkable. Scott would tell you there's nothing really remarkable about him. He lives in Arizona. He works at a garage. But Scott's favorite TV show helped him save someone's life. And Scott and you have a lot in common. Really? Yeah. So Does he also avoid eye contact with people? (laughs) Uh, No. No. (laughs) Uh, But he's like you in the sense that he'd never given anybody CPR. Okay. He'd never taken a course on CPR. Okay. He had no idea what he was doing. So here's the thing. Scott goes out and he delivers customers' vehicles back to them when they're repaired, which is a really nice sort of service. But he never brings his phone because he never wants to take a call or be distracted while driving in someone else's vehicle. Oh, that's Which is nice. cool. Yeah. So he pulls in front of a white sedan and he sees a woman sitting in the driver's seat. He approaches the car and she not- he notices the car's rolling a little bit. So he's parked his car, but this car is slowly inching forward, which is a little strange, right? Yeah. Especially with somebody in it. He quickly sticks a rock onto the front wheel. So that's the thing. That stops the car. MacGyver. Notices that this woman is not just sitting there. She's slumped over. Oh, no. Yeah. So he breaks the window with another rock because there's lots of readily available rocks in Arizona. He carries a satchel full of rocks. <laughs> no, it's Arizona. It's the, the rocky place. Also the satchel. He reaches in. Unlocks the driver's side door, checks the woman's pulse, and she doesn't have one. Oh, no. She's, he reclines the seat, and he crawls on top of her. And what popped into his head, and tell me if you remember this. I know exactly where this is going. Where do you think it's going? Tell me. He remembered the episode of The Office where they're learning CPR, and he then performed CPR on her and saved her life. Right, yes! Shut up, really? <laughs> yes, so here's the thing. It says, what popped into Scott's head was an episode <laughs> of the television show The Office in which character Michael Scott, Steve Carell, sings the Bee Gees Stayin' Alive while doing chest compressions on a dummy. The episode where the gang takes an in-office CPR course could actually be a tutorial in what not to do. The one thing it got right was using the song as a meter, as in the correct tempo. Uh, uh, for, uh, yeah. uh, stayin' Alive, Stayin' Alive. And he he saved her life. (laughs) So you know how you give me so much guff about how obsessed I am with The Office, how I watch it too much, how I need to, quote, expand my horizons. Wrong. Wrong. (laughs) This show literally saves lives. (sighs) He's I can't even argue with that. It's Virgin Radio. This is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde and TJ on 99.9 Virgin Radio. What have you done to get out of seeing your parents? I almost fell off my chair there for a second. (laughs) That's why they're laughing. (laughs) 
<laughs> like, who falls out of a chair while already sitting in the chair? You know when you're about to do something and then everything goes wrong, like right as you're about to do it? That was me just now. It's kind of the story of my life. So um, yeah, I do no, know what you're talking about. I want to know what you tried to do to get out of seeing your parents. It's not maybe because you, you don't love them. It's because sometimes you don't want to have to answer questions like, did you pay your taxes this year? When are you getting married? Oh, that's the one. What do you even eat here? Yeah. You know? Yeah. How many beers do you drink on the weekends? Uh, I don't know, Mom. <laughs> Couple? <laughs> there is a story today of a young man. He's a student, 23 years old. He's facing five years in jail for trying to avoid his parents. Oh, boy. The thing is, he went a little overboard. His parents were coming to see... Uh, uh, taking a flight from Lyon to Rene in France. And r- shortly after takeoff, the plane was forced to land. All 159 passengers had to disembark. They were given refreshments, though, which was nice. That's ideal. The 23 year old was charged with false news compromising the safety of an aircraft in flight after making an anonymous phone call for a bomb threat. Oh. He really didn't want to see his parents. Did it say why? It didn't say why. <laughs> so we have no idea what made him call in a bomb threat on an airplane. The only thing it says is his parents were traveling on board the plane and he wanted to avoid them. That is literally the sentence from the article. What could you possibly want to avoid your parents for that badly? Well, I mean, I can, I, can, I mean, let's be honest. I could see wanting to avoid your parents. Yeah, yeah that them. part of the story is pretty reasonable. Totally believable. <laughs> The reasonable, the unreasonable part is, like, like, is there any possible way that you could have gone about this differently? You know what I mean? Is there other things you could have done to either, either shorten the trip, say I'm too busy, somehow you got an exam that day? I don't know. Do you ever do those things? Maybe you sent a risque text when you shouldn't, or maybe, like, you followed an ex on Instagram. And you think about it in hindsight and you go, you know, I really wish I had somebody there to be like, hey, don't do that. True. That's what he needs in his life. Someone to be like, hey, maybe don't call in a bomb threat just because you don't want to see your mama and papa. This is why you need good friends, right? Actually, I wanted to throw this out there because I know we've all done little things here and there. You know, you claim you're busy. Sick. Sick. Yeah, Yeah. sick's a good one. Um, You're tired, whatever. What have you done? To avoid having your parents come home. It's like, listen, I love my parents. It's okay that you did this, by the way. Yeah. But but I really, really just can't handle them right now. What is that for you? Triple nine double nine on the text. Or 416-872-9999. And yes, don't worry, TJ and I all admit our Virgin CKFM Virgin Toronto. An iHeart Radio station is 99.9 Virgin Radio. Virgin, Virgin is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde and TJ. What have you done to get out of having your parents come over? And it's not because you don't love them. It's not because you don't get along. But sometimes, let's just be honest, you don't want to deal with that, right? Like, it's stressful. They ask questions that are uncomfortable because they have that comfort level with you. They do things that are uncomfortable. Like, okay, so here's... I'm going to admit mine, and I've never done this before. I once told my mom... I had a funeral to go to. Shut up. What? Yeah. (laughs) I did. Okay, and I know it sounds bad. It does. It sounds very bad. And you know, it sounds bad because it is. Um, And the reason I didn't want her to come over, and my mom and I are super tight. Like, she works down the hall at Chum. So we're not, we're not on, you know, we drive into work every day together. Yeah. All she wanted to do was see the condo uh, that my then girlfriend and I had moved into because we moved into a new condo. And it was messy because we just moved in. And we're a little messier than she is, and she's like a neat freak. My mom's house, there's not a speck of dust out of place. So what she would have done, and what I couldn't handle, is she would have come in and started organizing things. Like Mary Kondo. She'd have been there like, does this bring you joy? And you're like, Mom, it's a spatula. Yeah. Put it back. Yeah. And the thing was, it wasn't that I wouldn't have appreciated the help, but I was just too damn lazy that day. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I think, I think she knows. Like, it's one of those lies that you're like, your parents are like, okay, all right, then we'll do this some other time. And you're like, they know. She didn't even follow up on, like, who passed she away. She didn't ask. 
I think she knew. She knew. 100% yeah. she knew. Why did you jump right to funeral? Why can't you start because smaller? I felt like if I have I, a headache. If you're gonna lie, I feel like you need to go for it, right? That you is not to, how really lies need, work. I thought you like it has to be so bombastic and out there that that it's almost like okay, well he can't be lying about that because that is a ridiculous thing to lie about and be very easy to catch him. How's that afforded you in life so far? <laughs> Not a great liar. Yeah. See, I wonder why. You gotta start smaller. Yeah. Like me. Granted, my parents called BS on it pretty quick, but uh, I was pretty hungover, oh. and I just I wasn't in the mood. Couldn't deal with it. And um, my parents were supposed to come over, and they were like, uh, hey, we're coming. And I was like, guys, I gotta be honest. Like, I have a last-minute work meeting. I, I, you can't. I'm so sorry to do this to you, but I have a last-minute work meeting. And they were like, TJ... It's a Sunday. <laughs> we know you don't have a work meeting. We're coming over. Did they come? Oh, yeah. Oh. And I was so hungover. So hungover. That's the worst. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, so I want to know what yours is. Text us 999 or 416-872-9999. Yeah, let's hear your outrageous <laughs> lies like How Adam. How did you think that that was going to go? A work meeting on a Sunday. I was dehydrated. Virgin Mornings. With What's Trending. And this is What's Trending right now. You've been thinking to yourself lately, I got too much money. I need more expenses. Good news. The TTC is raising its price again by 10 cents on April 1st. Look at that. Apparently this week has just been an awful week for commuting on the TTC too. I read, I think it was on Blog TO, that people were calling this the worst commuting week in history for the TTC. Wow. Just, I guess, the freezing rain and delays. And was it even, like, like we've had worse weather conditions? Way worse. I don't... See, the thing is, is that, like, we keep pumping more money into it, and, and this is just, you know, me, you know, dumb civilian guy. It, it seems to get worse every year. Am I wrong? I don't know if it gets worse every year, or is if we're just looking for reasons to think yeah, it's maybe. worse every year. That might be it. Maybe. Plus, when you compare Toronto's transit system to other big cities in the world, London and New York and stuff, it doesn't really hold up, but different cities man okay cities growing i like your positivity it's it's something it's what gets me out of bed in the morning most mornings speaking of which if you're struggling to get out of bed there's a word for that it's called dysania oh scientists coined that word which is actually kind of awesome because now if you want to call in sick to work because you just really don't want to get out of bed you just call your boss and you say hey i won't be able to make it in today I got a bad case of Desania. Or, you, or just be like, you got to get a bad case of the Desanies. I got the Desanies. Right? They're not going to look. They won't Google that. They probably can't spell it. No Real, one can spell that. Realistically, it's just a good episode of The Price is Right, and you're like, yeah. I don't want to get out of bed today. <laughs> That's what everybody watches when How they're How much sick, does by that the way. vacuum really cost? <laughs> 750 no way. That's crazy. One of the greatest TV shows ever is being made into a movie. Can you guess which show I'm talking about? I won't even give you the chance. It's Breaking Bad. I don't know if you remember Breaking Bad, but it was a pretty solid ending to the TV show, <laughs> and now there's a movie in production uh, under the title Greenbrier. It sounds like it's going to star Aaron Paul, who was Jesse Pinkman, and Walter White, who was Brian Cranston. And they're going to have a bunch of other favorites in the show as well. No real word on like what the timeline of it, of it is like in the series and when it's going to be released, but the movie is in production and it was confirmed by Brian Cranston. Amazing news. Is it? I feel like the show ended so perfectly. Uh, I'm sure they could find something. Yeah. I'm sure they... Listen, if it's those guys, they'll figure it out. It's It'll just be a license to print money at this exactly. point. Exactly. That's, exactly. What, that's what's trending. I'm TJ. Thank you, TJ. Hey, an hour from right now, we have two huge announcements for you. And they're both awesome. Can't this wait. This is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde and TJ. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. Every once in a while you're on social media and you go, huh, that's a f that's something funny. <laughs> <laughs> and who did that come from? Like, it might be one of your friends that has one funny Instagram post a year. And you're like, that's their post. They've peaked. I'm feeling shamed right now because you looked directly at me when you said that. Oh, so that wasn't on purpose. This is a personal attack. Um, But then there's certain accounts that you're like, Oh, this person's a genius. They're on this. They mean it. And one of the strangest Twitter accounts that's really good to follow is the Peel District School Board. I am not kidding. I'm not kidding. Producer Jesse and I have been monitoring this for a couple days. Now, Producer yes. Jesse does all the social media here. He's a social media guru. He's really good at it. Jesse. Yes. Pull some of the tweets out <laughs> and, and read some of these out because I feel like we need to convince TJ a little bit here. Also, first, to be clear, 
Jesse and I are both former members of the Peel District School Board. Oh, really? Jesse from oh, Saga. That's why they're so funny because you two went there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm from Brampton, and it all worked out. I'm anyway, from Saga. Shout out TDSB. Just want to say hi. <laughs> anyway, so at Peel Schools. A lot of their tweets are about how buses won't be canceled. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so to tell everyone that buses won't be canceled, they told them, dress warm, take your time. And they tweeted out the video of Ariana Grande saying, got so much patience, because that's how you should be getting on your clothes oh, today. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, when the, everyone is asking them for a snow day, they tweeted, <laughs> Peel fam, bless us with a snow day. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then their response is snow day, like the way Soldier Boy yeah. said it's like, Drake. Hey! Like Drake. Oh my <laughs> genius! Also, their official hashtag is hashtag Peel Fam. I love. So this. if you want to interact with them, you have to type <laughs> Peel Fam to them. Incredible. This is the best. This yeah. they had a meeting about this. They're like, how can we be more interactive on social media? And, and they like, took the right approach. And they absolutely did. they did the right thing. I don't know why more uh, account, like 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 companies aren't more like this. Uh, and, and the TDSB, where are you at? You need to bring up your game. Can one more? Can we do one more? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do it. All right. So uh, somebody was uh, telling them how they're working for Habitat, Habitat for Humanity in the Peel region, mm-hmm. and then they tweeted back at them, "Yes, Peel proud." <laughs> <laughs> Whatever intern is running that account is not getting paid enough no. money. They are a genius. Good for them. Okay, so we're going to keep monitoring that, especially on, uh, like, crazy weather days, because that's mm-hmm. all P.O. gets is, is it just it's just owning other kids that go to that school, those schools going, yeah, no, you're going to school today. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's Virgin Radio. Virgin Mornings with, of course, this happened in Toronto. One of Toronto's most popular tobogganing hills has been shut down for the most Toronto reason ever. <laughs> Because, quote, terrain has developed severe ridges and drops that create a high risk of injury. Translation, the only reason you go tobogganing. They close the tobogganing hill in Riverdale Park East. <gasps> That's the Because it's one. too steep. And they're worried people are going to get hurt. That's part of the magic, Toronto. <laughs> That's the whole point. I thought... I thought, yeah, tobogganing is supposed to be a little dangerous. That's sort of where the thrill comes from. Absolutely it is. When I was 11 years old, I went down a hill, and then I fell, and I passed out for like 10 minutes, and I got awoken by my brother, and then he took me out for hot chocolate, put me under concussion protocol, and then I was fine. That's part of the majesty. And there are no ill effects to this day, right, TJ? No. No, not at all. I have terrible memory, <laughs> a lot of anxiety. I'm assuming that's unrelated. <laughs> Completely. My ears um, bleed occasionally. Real real facts, though, for a second. Um, I got hit once on the Toboggan Hill in Scarborough <laughs> by a kid who was wearing a helmet because I, my parents never made me wear a helmet going tobogganing. But just after I grew up, they made kids start doing that. And I got hit so hard that I got bruised from, like, nipple to hip by this one kid in this helmet. And to this day, it's still like I can still physically feel that pain. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know when you're so traumatized by something, it's like, <sighs> suck the wind out of me. But no concussions. That you know of. <laughs> True. It's Virgin Radio. Virgin Mornings. With What's Trending. And this is What's Trending right now. A bit of breaking news. You already have You don't need to do that. You have this cool, like, pump in bed. Like, it's like you're on a spin cycle. Breaking news. Okay. Right. Can't even get to it. Thanks. The city of Toronto issued an extreme cold weather alert. That's breaking news. Thank I don't you, need TJ. to do the exit well, music, it, do I? It is going to be a lot colder. Although, I got to say, because of the minus 17 to minus 20 that we had this week, Nothing feels cold anymore. I feel like a grizzled vet to the cold right now. Yeah. Man. Like I've been here before. I lived out west for a couple years when it'd be like minus 30 on a good day in December. And honestly, and I'm not just saying this, winters out here are way worse. I grew but, up in Brampton too, so like I experienced it. And it's way harder. There's here. a reason for that though. And if anybody has ever lived out west, it's it's basically almost a desert, like in like Calgary, Edmonton, that sort yeah. of thing. So it's a very dry cold here. Not only is it cold, but the, there's a lot of water in the air. And actually, like scientifically, it gets into your clothes, and that's why you're colder. And that's when the wind, wind, wind really blows and stuff. Sorry, N- nerding out here. I'm really sorry. It's nerd like an nerd. episode of the Magic School Bus over here. <laughs> Mr. Frizzle. Mr. Frizzle. Uh, speaking of weather, they're predicting it's going to be a cold and rainy summer expected for Toronto. Now let Adam go on this rant about how the people don't know anything. They can't predict things beyond seven days, so don't listen to it. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life. 
Uh, just like babies, adults apparently sleep better when getting rocked to sleep. Studies found a gentle rocking motion before and during sleep resulted in deeper slumber and better memory. I legitimately think if you are a, a, a small business person and you want to be a big business person, come up with some sort of adult rocking device, <laughs> not a rocking chair, but something where it's like, it almost brings you back to being a child and like a swing where you can fall asleep in, you will make millions of dollars. I gotta tell you though, if you own an adult rocking bed, that is a tough look. <laughs> like if you're single and you're trying to get someone to come over for a sleepover. Wait till you've slept in it though, don't judge me yet. Oh, Actually, there are people with swings, TJ. What kind of swings? Eight o'clock today. <laughs> we have, we've got 10 minutes. We have two Holy announcements. Transition. We're gonna do them both at the same time. These announcements are our base. One is a vacation. The other is just a bay. And that's all I'm gonna say, because that's all I can say. We're gonna tell you this, it's gonna make you so, so happy. Both yes. things will. We're really Absolutely. pumped about it. Especially given this extreme cold weather alert. CKFM Toronto. An iHeartRadio station. Is 99.9 Virgin Radio. Virgin, Virgin Radio. This is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. Make some noise, let's go! Yeah! 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, just a second. Hold on, hold on. Let me just, uh, let me just uh, play that one more time, okay? I just want to throw that in there, just in case you missed it. There's an extra name. This is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. Make some noise, let's go! Hey! <laughs> Officially welcoming Jax to the show. <sighs> the long-awaited fourth member, because we've got producer Jesse, we've got me, we've got TJ. Jax, welcome. Good to morning. Good morning, gentlemen. I can't even put into words how beautiful it is to see you sitting there smiling. Finally, someone to keep us in check. Uh huh. Absolutely. Yes. Uh huh. Now, uh, Jax and I, longtime friends, worked together for many years. Mm -hmm. We're going to get to know her a little bit. We're going to throw up some videos and that sort of thing on the Virgin Radio Instagram over the course of the weekend. We've asked Jax a bunch of uh, awkward questions. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah. So you get the chance to kind of like get the rhythm. But how are you feeling? I feel incredible. I mean, I've had 18,000 coffees. <laughs> <laughs> I get to see your sweet peach darling faces. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, like you said, you know, we've been waiting for this. It's exciting. My favorite city every morning. My palms are sweating, babe. Should we do our other big announcement? We got our first bay. Mm -hmm. How about a vacation? So whether you're single, you're married, you're dating, dangerously high frequency of dates if you're TJ. <laughs> Valentine's wait, wait, wait. Dangerously <laughs> high frequency? <laughs> Valentine's Day is going to find you, and that's why we here at 99.9 Virgin Radio, tr Transat and TripCentral.ca, we want to send you on a vacation with your bay. So starting Monday, right at 7 a.m., we're going to give you a code word. You're going to text that code word and your name to 99999. If we call you back, you're going to be on that Virgin Radio VIP standby list. You know how this works. But you got to answer your phone. Because we here on the Virgin Morning Show, Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax, <laughs> are going to call a winner every single day. Mm -hmm. And let me just run through some of the uh, the places you'll be staying. Can I do that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Grand Palladium, Lady Hamilton Resort and Spa in Jamaica. Uh. Google that one. Uh, the next week after that, it's the majestic colonial Punta Cana Dominican Republic. Ooh. Or Republica Dominicana, as they say it down there. <laughs> do they? <laughs> they do, do yeah. they? Okay. Uh, then listen, if you're Spanish, t t Texas, triple nine, double nine. I'm right. Uh, week of February 11th, the Barcelo Maya Colonial in Riviera Maya, Mexico. I don't like your accent. I don't one bit. like my that you're saying not, it no, was stank. Nope. Well, okay, listen, my accent's not good, but I did pronounce it correctly. Okay. Listen, we're getting you out of the cold this winter. That's what Virgin Radio is all about. You want to improve your temperature? We want to get you there. I think we should allow Jax, as the new member of the morning show, mm -hmm. to intro the first song. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you see the first song there, uh, Jax? Oh, these yeah. old, these old eyes here? Let me, let me Actually, see wait, make her just guess. What song do you think <laughs> we're going to play? <laughs> what song would I really want to hear right now? I don't okay, hear producer Jesse, Jesse, Jesse in the background. Him and Jesse. It's cheating. Ariana Grande, this is breathing. Thank you so much for having me, Toronto. This is, is going to be silliness. All the texts rolling in. People are mm -hmm. pumped to see Good you. morning. Virgin Mornings. This is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. Oh. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah, it does. It for sure does. Now, 
I have, I'm a bit of a, a real estate nerd. Like, I, I don't know if we, people spend their time at home, like on Instagram or something like that, you're watching Netflix. I go on like realtor.ca and just check out what's for sale. Not because I can afford any of it, but it's just super cool. I feel like, like that's self-harm in this city. I know, it is. <laughs> oh man, it is. But sometimes you just like to look at like how other houses look, right? So whenever I see something like this come up, I have to talk about it. This is the most expensive home in the US and it's sold for $238 million. <laughs> that's a lot of money. Would it depress you to know that not only is this in New York, but it is also not a house. It's a condo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna Google this place, hang so, on. So it was bought by a hedge fund manager. Oh, casual. It's a four story condo, condo in Central Park South and they dub it the bunker. Um, now there are not a lot of pictures of it, of course, <laughs> online because they would never want to release this, but it has limestone clad, it's a limestone clad building, features private dining rooms, along with a sports club, juice bar, library, and basketball court. <laughs> you have to get approved to buy in this building. So if you have the money, so it's a $238 million condo, you have to put in a resume. What you do, how much you make, they do background checks, they do credit checks. If you have a criminal history, they're not interested. Uh. If you are a celebrity, they're not interested. They don't want paparazzi outside of their building. So this guy had to apply to buy, he had to apply to buy this building, or buy this, he didn't buy the building, just, but just the one condo in it. You Which have is, to be the rich of the rich of the rich. Yeah, That's right, yeah. Like you would be on the top class on the Titanic. Okay, how big, <laughs> TJ, how many square feet is your apartment? <laughs> I don't know, like- Four. 150 no, maybe? No, really, how much? How much do you Probably think? like 400 square feet, that sounds about right. right. Yeah, and you're in the distillery. Yeah. Jax, how, how big would your place be? I know you uh, rent a flat. Yeah. Probably, I lucked out, probably 600 Ooh, square feet, but good. yeah. Look at Hollywood over it here, feels eh? spacious over here, oh yeah. The unit is 24,000 square feet. Come on. <laughs> what do you do with that space? What activities do you do with that space? I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I, <laughs> I can't even, because the thing is, is that like in this city, for a thousand square feet, not only is it like 3,000 bucks a month in rent. Easy. But I, I look at that and I go, that's a lot of space. Like, yeah. I don't know, I don't have the furniture to fill that. What do you do with a 24,000 square foot condo? I'm sure you have fun. You have a lot of room for activities, that's for sure. Do you invite friends over? Like, I would never have anybody over in that apartment. Would you even know if if your friends were over? Oh, probably. Like, how do you hear the doorbell? I'm like, in the I'm... south end of the house! <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Do you make them sleep on the couch? Like, you know when your friends stay over, they sleep on the couch? You, you have... No, I don't think you do, TJ. I think you have more than one bedroom. <laughs> Unlike the 400 square yeah, I would make them sliding, sleep on the couch. Like, TJ Sweet. Has a sliding wall in his uh, in his apartment. So I, that's a thing. <laughs> it's Virgin Radio. This is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. What do you do with a 24,000 square foot condo? It's the most expensive home in the United States. It just sold. And yes, it is a condo in New York on Central Park. It's Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax, Ooh. our newest member. Mm -hmm. TJ, we got a couple of texts about this. People actually have good ideas. Yeah, Dana texts us from the 905. You could play an epic game of Manhunt. You could play Grounders in the four-story apartment like What's that. Grounders? You remember Grounders? <gasps> no, what do you, you do? It's when you close your eyes. And then you have to find the person, don't you? Okay. Am I that playing? Was... Am I playing a weird maritime version of it? Yeah. Okay. I think you're playing. <laughs> and then grounders. you drink a beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we watch Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> what, what and we grounders? say car. <laughs> what? Where is Grounders? Grounders is now. Jax is right. It's where you're blindfolded and somebody is like on the jungle gym. And if you think somebody got <laughs> off the jungle gym, you yell Grounders. Oh. And then they're it. Oh, it's like Marco Polo, but for dry land. Sure. Yeah. What? I played that one. <laughs> okay. Wasn't the best one. <laughs> This is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. You know what? It's slow, but it's problem-free on the major routes. It's just a lot of volume out there. True wealth is about making the most of everything that life has to offer. This is health. This is wealth. This is life. Learn more at sunlife.ca. Minus six right now. And that's your high for today. We did it. Yay. Uh, probably going to see some flurries and snow a little bit later. Minus nine expected for tomorrow. Minus seven for your Sunday. It brought to you by Loblaws. Hey, big earner. 
Points Days is here. PC Optimum's biggest points event of the year on now from January 24th to the 27th of TJ. It's 825. It's Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jack. Ah. Talking about... Whoa, what was I, that? I, I, just give me another half an hour with that, that and I'll stop making sound effects. That cool. sounded like a cat that ah. was going through some sort of medical episode. We've been, ta- we've been talking about this condo that sold for $238 million. It's the most expensive condo the most expensive house in the United States, but it's just off Central Park. It is four floors. It is 24,000 square feet. What do we do with it? What do you do with a condo that size? We're actually getting some really great answers, TJ. Uh, text from the 647, turn it into an arcade? No, because then you would have to have people over, and that sounds like a terrible idea. Nerman texts us a really good point, though, from Brampton. He says, what if he has, I'm not going to say the word, but, you know, bathroom issues. Has to go to the bathroom, badly. You know, a long way to run. True. You'd want to make sure you have strategically placed bathrooms. Yeah. I feel like in that large of a space, you're going to have more than one bathroom, guys. Yeah, there's probably a lot of plants, too. So, worst case, Ontario. Okay, come on. Go in the plant. Mm. (laughs) You're rich enough to use my new plant. (laughs) Nope. I mean, he makes a good point. The animals do it. This is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. In case you missed it, vacation starts Monday, meaning that you can go to either Jamaica, the Dominican Republic, or the Riviera Maya over the next three weeks. And what's so great about this is you already know how it works. 7 a.m., we give you the code word, or you can get it at 11, or you can get it at 1, or you can get it at 4, or at 7 p.m., that is. And then, as soon as you are on the Virgin Radio VIP standby list by texting that code word in, that gives us the opportunity on the Virgin Morning Show with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax to call you the next day at 7 a.m. and say, hey, you're going. Congratulations. Starting Monday, we're giving away trips every single day. Ooh, be unreal. Be a great Valentine's Day gift, though. Although it would kind of suck because then you're never going to be able to beat that gift. That's sort of, yeah. I mean, that's why we're calling it the vacation. But maybe, yeah, maybe... <laughs> Maybe bring a friend so you don't peek early. Is that the way you guys think about things? Yes. Giving gifts to your loved ones? Like, ah, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't outdo myself. I'll uh, never live up to... Absolutely. Okay. Granted, I'm single, I mean, so it's worked out yeah. so well for me. Has but it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Hey, we got a call from Ryan here. Ryan, what's up? You wanted to say something? TJ, just want to say great reference to Worst Case Ontario because me and my buddies have a group chat called Worst Case Ontario because we... Uh, we're making a joke about it. I was like, hey, good reference. <laughs> hey, sweet. Add me into it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for sure. And Jax, the kind of best for last. I uh, just want to say welcome to the 99 Virgin Radio Show. Thank you so, so much. I'm blushing a little bit right now, man. Thank you. Man. Text or call us whenever you want. We'll answer the phone. Okay, you know Ryan? the number. You know the numbers. All right. yeah, it's all yeah, water under the good. fridge, my dude. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Wow. Sounds good, guys. Have a great weekend, well, buddy. Have a good day. Take care. Thanks, buddy. All right. See you, my love. TJ, how aren't you a dad yet? It's all under the fridge in worst case, Ontario. Oh, getting two birds stoned at once. Oh. Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. A 99.9 Virgin Radio. Hit us up anytime. You can just text us, triple nine double nine. Anytime you got something you want to say, you don't have to wait for us to ask you. 416-872-9999 as well, if you feel like calling and chatting. And we do have a very special call on the line. Good morning, guys. Good morning, sunshine. Hey! Well, hi. (laughs) Uh, Guys, we got to let you introduce yourselves. Who are you? Uh, My name is Cash. My name is Ray. And they are the morning show from Virgin Radio in Kitchener, Waterloo. How cool is this? Did you want to speak specifically to Jax? Is that is that where you're calling in this morning? Oh, we want to speak to oh, all of you. Oh. It's like it's like finally the cat's out of the bag. The no. Jack's out of the bed. <laughs> Jack's out of Jack's out of the box. Out of the closet. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years too, fifteen years too late, Why there, buddy. Is that funny? Why are we all laughing yeah. at that? I don't get it. Well, welcome to the team, Jack. At uh, what time would you like to share an entire box of wine with me? I mean, uh. 24 minutes from now? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be off the air. Seriously, though, guys, really classy of you, you guys to call. Thank you Thank so you much. much. Uh, love well, you guys. We love you. Glad you guys can uh, shake things up in Toronto. Have a great time. Virgin Mornings with What's Trending. And this is What's Trending right now. This is going to be a fun, sexy time for all of us. The TTC announced they're raising its prices Yay! again by Yay! 10 cents starting on April 1st. That might just be a bit. Maybe it's April Fool's Day, but sounds like it's actually no. happening. They don't joke around. No, they do not. Uh, hey, if you struggle to get out of bed in the morning, in the morning, there's a word for that that you could use to call in sick. It's called dysania. Scientists just coined the phrase. So imagine calling in sick to work, being like, "Hey, I can't make it. I got Still a right bad now. case of the dysania." Okay, so Jax is your boss. All right. 
and you're calling Jax. Okay, so she Jax, pick up the phone. Hello, I'm authoritative. Okay, go ahead, TJ. I felt like <laughs> Tell him what you have. It's Elmo. Tell her what you have. Hey, uh, Jax, I can't make it in today. I got, I got, a, I got food to sing you. That sounds clinical and legitimate. <laughs> you don't need to come in today. Does that sound like a boss? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like a boss. <laughs> you got to work on your boss voice. A little yeah, bit. I'm not good at impressions. <laughs> and the biggest story in the city. Two idiots get their best friend to come work with Yay! them. Welcome to Virgin Mornings, our newest member, Jax. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, this is going to get weird. Anita's actually on the phone at uh, 416-872-9999. Anita, you got a story about that. So for some reason, January 2nd, my radio was actually on 99.9 when I got in the car. And Adam, when I heard your voice, I started screeching. I didn't know the call-in number, so the other guy beat me to being your first call. And I was like, damn it! (laughs) Um, This morning I get into my car, and I hear that you've made the best decision you could possibly make. Hey, yo, (laughs) Jack! Well done, Adam! (laughs) There is some competition brewing in the morning show! (laughs) That's right! There might be one internally, because TJ's over there just being super quiet right now. Yeah, no, it's fine, Anita, whatever. (laughs) But with that said, TJ, triple threat, right? That's yes, right. That's yep. right. I'm that's your bronze it. medal. <laughs> well, you can be a gold if you do it right next oh, week, right? Oh, she, she want, what, what, you, what is it that you want, Anita? Yeah, I need my first virgin vacation. Oh. And, see? <laughs> you probably could have phrased that a little bit better, but... <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. That was perfect. Well, Anita, good news. Monday morning, it's vacation season. You can bring you and your bay. We start with the Lady Hamilton Resort and Spa in Jamaica at 7 a.m. Well done, guys. I'm so excited. I can't wait for every morning. Now. Oh, Thank keep you it up. So Great much. job. Welcome, Jack. Yay! Yay! This is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax on 99.9 Virgin Radio. We're about to get out of here. Oh, yeah, there's that part. <laughs> um, hey, we're about to get out of here. But. Again, just want to say, Jax, we're so happy to have you as part of the show. This is so great. We've been waiting for this forever. So Ooh! thank you. We're going to have some fun. Uh, we're going to have some fun, Toronto. Our girl, Robsy's back from South Africa. Yes! Obviously, we talked about a little bit about that yesterday, how you can't pet a rhinoceros. She learned that on her trip. Uh, yeah, you will get kicked off the safari. Yeah. Don't, um, don't try it. Robin. Rebel. Yes, that's right. I think of all of us, Robin's been looking forward to Jax being here because there's been a little too much testosterone. Uh-huh. Yeah, especially from me. Yeah. I know you can hear it in my voice, but I always have really high levels of testosterone. I always have. It explains yes. why I'm covered in body hair. No. Nope. And it explains my deep manly voice nope. and why I'm constantly doing push-ups. People nope. constantly refer to TJ as alpha male TJ. Yeah. Oh, You've heard yeah. that, right? That you lot. know, all yeah. 150 pounds of them. No, totally. Uh, Jax, oh my gosh, thank God you're here. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So there's, a, there's a lot of things happening in this room, but yeah, so excited. This, this is going to be an incredible way to wake up every morning. It is. Now, we were just discussing uh, before the, the break, Jax, you were able to in record time use the ladies room yes. and there was a conversation about washing hands oh no and oh, no. somebody in this room does not wash their hands every mm. time mm. because does they do not see the need who is that person Jack? well it's me it's TJ ah. <laughs> first of all you only know my name because I'm wearing a name tag <laughs> new girl you don't wait, you don't use soap though I you don't use... wash my hands when I go there because that's how you build a strong immune system you do that fake how many you put on days? the water so people can hear it yeah. you, you've let me eat some of your orange in the morning before. Oh, no. That's a lie, because I don't eat fruit. No, you have. You've given me some of your fruit and some of your cucumber. I'm kidding. I obviously wash my hands from time to time. Robin. He brought a cucumber. <laughs> oh, no. Jax, no. I got to get out of yeah. here. You guys All right. Say- Let's Robin, go sanitize. Robin is taking over next. Uh, Robin, what do you got on the show? Oh, my gosh. I have so much. We're going to talk about the hottest neighborhood in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Are you living in it? I hope so. I will let you know. On top of that, there's something you can do to get rid of your winter cold that's actually the most fun thing ever, and you're going to party while you do it. Amazing. Robin, thank you so much. We will see you Monday for a vacation. I hope you're ready. 7 a.m. Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax.